Hey, what's up, guys? How are you today? Welcome to my vlog. Now, in today's vlog, I don't have any specific topic really. Just came out for a ride a bit since I haven't used my bike for a while and my battery's dead, was dead. So I had to do like, you know, hook it up to the car, start it up and stuff like that. So yeah, there goes that. And on the other hand, I have brand new brake pads on the back. Mm, that's a shame, I'm not gonna make it. I have brand new brake, uh, brake pads on the back, in the back. So I have that. Washed my bike. Probably, you can probably see that because it's kind of clean. No, it wasn't. So I washed my bike. Cleaned it up. Cleaned up the, the back brake, the caliper, everything. Like changed the brake pads. Changed the brake, flu uh, brake fluid as well while I was there. So, I mean, I might do it as well. And now I just have to do the front and the tire. That's what's left for me this year. Probably the... Uh, f not fuel, uh, oil. I'll have to change the oil this year. But other than that... I mean, the coolant has been, been changed last year. And this one has been changed last year, so I don't have to worry about this one. I probably will change it with the... With the brake pads, I just I prefer to change it again somehow, some something like that. Like I'm already there, I'm already like digging to my calipers. I may as well do it. Right, it is no point leaving it behind, even though it's like a year old. Maybe this one, maybe, maybe less than that. But I have a, an opened bottle anyway of brake fluid. I can just do it. And gives me a bit more, like kind of fresh, clean it up. Freshen it up a bit, eh? And I have new earplugs. I got them for a present but as a gift for Christmas. So it was you know, a long time ago, but I didn't use them ever. Like, it's the first time I'm using them today. And to be honest, they're pretty good. They're good. They're not the, um, you know, the, the one use kind of thing, uh, earplugs disposable they are many uses so they they kind of multiple use earplugs you can wash them and stuff like that and these earplugs cost like 18 or 20 pounds for a pair so that's what I was saying you know you can buy these type of earplugs Ooh, can I make it no I'm not gonna break so you can buy these type of earplugs. Uh, this guy just changed his mind. He stood in the queue and changed his mind. <laughs> like what the hell, man? So you can buy these more expensive earplugs, and they're gonna last you a bit. Like they say, at least hundred uses. Uh, I'm gonna say hundred days <laughs> because like one use is one journey, right? So if you go to work and back, that's two uses. So uh, nah. Uh, but yeah, you, you, they have like a filter and everything in there. You, they don't, they're not uncomfortable. You don't even feel them inside your ear because when you have those like foam ones, you, these are like kind of a, a, when you have, um, how do I compare that? When you sometimes get those earphones for your mobile phone and they have this kind of like a, a I don't know how to even put that, a kind of membrane for your ear. You put it into your ear, a kind of a gum kind of thing. Uh, silicon kind of thing. I don't know how to put that. Uh, so yeah, they they're made from that kind of material, and uh, they're very comfortable. You, you don't you don't even feel them, and the noise cancellation is very good, man. I approve. Apparently, it's a very good company. Apparently, it's a very good company. Well, no, I don't remember. Like, uh, what was it called? I don't remember. Mm. Uh, something similar to a company that produces clothes for motorcycles, something like that. And I know it's like similar name, but I don't remember the company name. So yeah, I got, they're not bad. Right? As I said, I'm using them first time today, and I'm not complaining whatsoever. They're very good. They sit very well in your ear. They're not like sticking out or anything. Uh, you don't have to trim them or anything. Perfect size. 
and it'll fit inside your ear very comfortable and cancel a lot of noise right they cancel better than the the phone ones so the price yeah 20 pounds yeah but it's worth it i say because you can use them multiple times so it's worth it it's not bad cancel the wind noise eh? and i wanted to buy for christmas for myself a new jacket I wanted to buy that I wanted to buy new jacket new trousers new boots i wanted to i actually ordered everything new pretty much ordered but when it came everything from rsd but i was not satisfied with that man i've bought uh, the whole set of uh, was it maverick rsd maverick uh, kind of line series so i got a uh, jacket and the pants I don't believe they have shoes or boots, but I ordered something else. Also from RST, but I will talk about that in a second. And, you know, I wore them and the jacket was too big, too bulky. I, I didn't like it. So that's one thing. And the other thing is, it's kind of, it wasn't to my fitment kind of thing. I, I didn't like it at all. So I returned that. Uh, the pants were too big. I've ordered, I think, M or uh, L size, maybe L size. But they were like, I would have to get like S size something like, because they were so much bigger. Maybe I slimmed down or something, I don't know. But these ones are fine. I have on me currently, so I don't know. Like weird stuff with those sizes, hey! And so, yeah, I've returned that. And the boots, I bought the boots, I don't remember uh, how they called. Raid, I think RST Raid or something like that. RST Raid or something like that, uh, and yeah, they, they look nice, they look great, I like the look of them, they like kind of like a, a steampunk kind of thing, kind of air about them, but the clips that you use, because you don't have a, a zip or anything, you have those clips like uh, snowboard shoes, that's the one, or skiing uh, shoes, boots, you have those clips. And they were shit, like the, the quality of these clips is not only plastic, but it's shit plastic as well. One of the, uh, the clips was basically broken and, and twisted before even, you know, I used the boots at all. So it came with fucking, <laughs> with a fault already. Before I even actually used the boots. So I returned them straight away. I have, nah, I'm not going to pay like 240 like or something like that pounds for boots this shit, man. They were leather and everything, they, they, they looked nice and stuff like that, but man, holy shit, they were so shit. I didn't like them straight away when I took them into my hands, man. I like them from the picture, but other than that, no, I don't recommend them at all, man. You, you, those clips will break soon. And I want my boots to last at least two years, right? Uh, no, this is not gonna last two years, man, not with those clips. And there's no other way to actually do the shoe. Like, you have to use those clips because you don't have a zip or, or Velcro or anything. No, you have only those clamps. And so I said, nope, I'm returning that shit. So I've returned that, all of that, and uh, I thought, yeah, I'm going to spend a bit more and buy myself RST Adventure Series X. But I didn't do it yet. <laughs> and I don't know if I will. I mean, this jacket is five years old, but it holds up. I mean, I'm not doing extreme sports or any sports of any kind in this jacket. So, uh, it's, it's all right for the road. I just wanted to upgrade to a long jacket, that's all. Because I prefer, this is a sports jacket, so it's shorter. It has shorter calves, shorter uh, everything, <laughs> basically. Let's change the gear. Hey. There you go. I'm gonna experience the speed a bit uh, since there's nothing in front of me anyway. And today's Saturday. Let's increase the pace, eh? It looks like it's ice on the road. Uh, maybe, <laughs> because it's like three degrees, man. It's a shame I don't have a... I don't have the uh, kind of a uh, thermometer on my bike, you don't have that usually. But yeah, I have ordered that and just sent it back straight away pretty much. Like, uh, same or the next day, something like that, I mean, I didn't like it. 
didn't like it. The color was fine, it was kind of brownish, grayish kind of thing. Uh, so it would match the boots because the boots were kind of brownish, like a rust kind of thing. Deep rust. <laughs> I don't know how to put it <laughs> differently. But yeah, the, the looks were great. It's just that I didn't like the, the feel of these clothes and I just sent them back. <laughs> And I ordered Gore-Tex gloves, but it turns out that not for winter air. They're called Typhoon or whatever, right, from Richard. But I tried to do them in in the winter, right? It's like five minutes later, I had to return home with my hands frozen. Right, five minutes one way, and then five minutes the other way, and I'm my hands were frozen. I thought, like, Gore-Tex, right? Just got to protect my hands. Bollocks, no, bullshit. Not, not going to happen, man. Ain't gonna happen, man. You have to have very. You have to buy Gore-Tex gloves specifically for winter, just because you have Gore-Tex. I that, that's what I found out. I think you know, just because you have Gore-Tex in the glove, that doesn't mean shit, man. At least for winter, they are windproof. Don't get me wrong, they will be windproof, but you know, in in warm weather, you have a windproof and waterproofing. But that's pretty much it. Not for winter, because there's no layer like a... These gloves are much better, even though they're, they're waterproof leather gloves. They have a layer inside which at least, at least gives me something, some protection from cold, because they're, they're kind of bulky, right? The, the Gore-Tex one, I didn't return them, I can still use them during the summer or, you know, in like fall or something like that. I can use them, because of like 90 quid. Not very cheap. But I thought, you know, I'll, I'll keep them. I'll keep them, whatever. You know. Maybe, maybe they'll be useful. They're half leather, half kind of material kind of thing. But yeah, I prefer to stick with leather, full leather. Like, not even gold. Like I have heated grips and uh, yeah, just... I thought, you know, oh, I'll have my hands very, very warm during winter and bollocks nope you're not gonna have that so that's that uh, a lot of updates perhaps on things i bought and didn't buy but as i said i don't have any topic really it's just coming out for a ride as it changed as i oiled my chain i've uh, washed my bike i've uh, changed the brake pads in the back and that's pretty much why i came out just to you know ride around a bit and don't really have anything else to talk about but yeah, it's New Year, or Happy New Year, basically, yeah, Happy New Year, I can say that, but it's a bit late, like, it's 20 few days late, <laughs> so, <laughs> there goes that, I'm going 40, now I'm going 40, um, so yeah, Happy New Year, I have loads of videos, it's not that I, I just don't upload stuff because I'm, like, busy and shit, uh, and I don't want to edit them. <laughs> but I have lots of videos. I have... I, I, my, my desktop is filled with fucking clips, man. It, and I don't want to do, like, a lot of encountered stuff, even though I have, like, 50 clips available for me to do encountered stuff videos. And I have loads of clips. I have long clips, short clips, shit like that. I have, like, at least four episodes of encountered stuff in my de on my desktop, man. It's just that I don't, I prefer, I, I don't know why, but I prefer to do like, I want to do normal content, not encountered stuff, and then encountered stuff once in a while, every other content comes out. So like vlogs or perhaps common writer mistakes, stuff like that, and then just throw in one of those videos. And I, I have like four or five episodes ready, man. I just have to edit them and I can just publish them. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> so... Yeah. How's the back brake? Oh, the back brake is good. It's smooth. So yeah, I want to finish my novel as soon as possible. That's why I'm pretty much focusing on that. And then I want to edit because I'm not going to release any new books, novels, whatever. I'm not going to release anything new, even though I have drafts, bollocks. Even though I have drafts, I'm not going to release anything new until the limits ebooks are completed, because that's my plan. I don't want to take on too much, because you start writing a new book, you have to release chapters after chapters after chapters. 
but then you don't have the time to actually worry about your other books which you've written. So I want them actually published as ebooks. That's one thing. And the other thing is, I will have two books now, which I will have to worry about. So not only do I have to re-edit and rewrite uh, limits. Sometimes if I take that guy, it doesn't matter. I know I'll stop, but I'm not gonna stop behind this guy, so... I don't care about the rest. <clears throat> as long as I can overtake him. That's fine. Even though he's on the left lane over there, that doesn't matter. Didn't expect the light change, though. So yeah, I'm probably gonna worry about ebooks now from this year the whole year so no new books from this year when i finish i'm anna no more books this year man i'm not gonna publish anything as i tell you acceleration eh that's a bit of a run that's a bit of a probably a long one as well 20 something minutes again. I have uh, I have fucking talent doing 20 something videos minutes <laughs> And all with fucking talking and shit. I don't know if people actually enjoy that. Yes. Yes. Okay. Good job What the hell? I mean my views are very low so I'm mostly doing this for myself. It's kind of like a I vlog for myself, right? I'm because I'm on the bike anyway and I have a camera and I have a mic, I can just talk to myself and I can just pass it on as, oh, I'm vlogging, man. I'm talking to myself. <laughs> there you go. Excuses, man. Yeah, but yeah, I don't have a, a big audience, if you want to call it like that. And surely not a lot of people watch that, but still do it. So I'm not gonna upload every other day, but I'm still uploading, I'm still alive, <laughs> so... Not motivated by the views whatsoever. Or demotivated, or... I don't know, depressed, I don't know how to put that. So either way... Eh, yeah, I'm not gonna bother you anymore, like, you probably have other stuff to do. And me, hearing me rant about stuff, random stuff. Eh, yeah, I'm back, have a Merry Christmas, whatever, uh... For the next year, perhaps. Merry Christmas for the next year. <laughs> Happy New Year right now. <laughs> so, there you go. Stay healthy. Uh, visit the links in the description below. It will get you to my novel, my Patreon, stuff like that. My ebook. My ebook's there as well. So, there you go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There you go. Come on, it's 40. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, so thanks for watching. I will see you in my next vlog, video, whatever it is. Blast out! <laughs>